Battlefield 2042, guys. Moments ago, DICE finally released the promotional content for Battlefield Portal, and I was lucky enough to attend the pre-release event, and I'm going to tell you guys absolutely everything I know. So up until today, Battlefield 2042 had the modes Conquest, Breakthrough, Hazard Zone, and the Redacted Mode. While we still don't know what Hazard Zone is, the Redacted Mode has now been revealed, and it is the Battlefield Portal. This was described as a love letter to Battlefield fans, and as a diehard fan myself, knowing the information I know now, they actually delivered. They really, really delivered here. So a lot of us, including me, wanted a Battlefield 3 remaster. Some others wanted 1942 remastered, or even Bad Company 3. Well, through the Battlefield portal, they've actually kind of touched on all three of these games. So to start with, here is the raw content we're getting. For maps, there's Battle of the Bulge and El Alamein from Battlefield 1942. Arika Harbor and Valparaiso are returning from Bad Company 2, and last but absolutely not least, we're getting Caspian Border and Noshar Canals from Battlefield 3. All these maps will be playable on Conquest Large, Conquest Small, Team Deathmatch, and last but not least, Rush. That last one will definitely please a lot of the fans out there. I know a lot of people really wanted to see Rush back. A lot of people prefer Rush over Breakthrough. Well, now we have Rush, which is absolutely great. They also made it clear that these maps weren't exact copy-paste replicas from the original games. All the maps have been slightly modified to work with the 128 player games. Also, Battlefield 1942 didn't actually have Destruction, so all the maps have been updated to work with Destruction, and they've been graphically updated as well. So, it all looks really good. All the maps that I've seen so far, they look really, really stunning, just so much better than the 1942 graphics that we do not want these days. And the devs have actually assured us that you can play the maps in the exact same ways that we all remember. They've tried to maintain the experience as well as possible. All the old flanking routes and just general flows of the maps were replicated. It's just that they've been ported over to the new game. And it's not just maps that have brought over. They've also gone ahead and remastered 40 plus weapons from the previous three games. And as a vehicle player, you'll also be glad to know that there's 40 plus vehicles making a comeback too from 1942, BC2 and BF3. Gadgets have not been forgot about either. There's 30 plus of those coming back, including some fan favorites such as the defibrillators and the EOD bots. Another interesting thing is that they've actually brought back the old soldiers and their archetypes, meaning that you won't be forced to play the 2042 specialists. Instead, you'll be able to play the assault, engineer, support and recon kits from the previous games. And just to summarize so far, I think this is absolutely huge to have something just thrown as an extra onto the full game that already is Battlefield 2042. A lot of people have been skeptical on certain aspects of the game. Take Specialist for example, or the increased map sizes. I've definitely heard mixed opinions on both of those things, and Battlefield Portal has just came in and gave everyone the option to enjoy the game however they want, and that is just absolutely fantastic. Now the hardware we're seeing is only really half of it, the other side is actually the custom aspect of this. So Battlefield Portal will release with two sections. You'll have official experiences, which are remastered versions of the previous games, previous map experiences, game mode experiences, those are made by DICE. Then you also have community experiences which are just a bit more complicated. To understand that we've got to talk about the Battlefield Builder. Players will be able to create their own custom experiences through a web-based app. Through this you can manipulate the settings and the logic. For the settings you'll be able to customize the maps which include all the remastered maps along with the base game maps. You can also change the modes which include Conquest, TDM and Rush. And then the mode settings which include Factions, Mobility, visibility, arsenal, and scale. You'll also have full access to things such as the team select, so you can actually do things like BF3 versus BC2 in the same game. There's also vehicle and weapon restrictions, and to be honest, pretty much any setting imaginable is available here. There's also the logic customization, which if the previous things didn't cover what you want to do, you can pretty much do it through there. It is done through a visual scripting tool which uses logic blocks, which I don't really understand too well just yet. But as the game comes out, there's going to be tutorials by developers themselves showing us how to use some of the more complicated things. And as always, the community always does make the best tutorials, so I'm sure there'll be people who understand it and can make those tutorials for you. Once you're done creating a custom experience, you can publish it and create servers on it using a special game code. The best custom experiences will also be taken in by DICE and shown on a community spotlight. This part of the system is what really, really excites me. Basically, we're getting RSP and the options to create the best experience possible. And then from there, DICE is going to find the best ones for us and then just put them on a spotlight. This is just really, really good. It's going to filter out the good from the bad and hopefully it ends up being a really good system. Just for some closing thoughts though, I think this all sounds great and I can see this really appealing to a bunch of different people. I can easily see it being great for the competitive community, YouTubers, gaming communities in general, just a lot of things. 
I just hope it doesn't outshine the main game because I really want it to be as fresh as possible and I want to see a new game here. But in the description, I've actually linked another video where I go a bit deeper into some Q&A content with the developers. But for now, it's time to sign off on the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.